street's going to look like. Oh my gosh, it's dry as a bone. Last year, this was like a running creek. There's not a drop of water in that thing. Not seeing a lot of deer either. We're going to have to do some real hunting this year. This is another one that's normally a running creek that has no water in it. Unreal. After 11 years, they finally put a culvert in here where it was terrible swampy. Oh, a little spike back there. Baby spike. Man, I can't believe they actually put a culvert in there. Another swampy area that they finally put a culvert in. This is fantastic. It's gonna make this road so much easier. That's beautiful. And actually some water, look at that. Good morning and welcome to The Real Outdoors and welcome to the Texas Hill Country. That's right, it is time for my annual Texas Hill Country hunt. We are out putting trail cameras out right now, checking all the feeders, checking all the blinds, make sure they're all good to go for opening week, which is coming up on Saturday. We were just getting everything prepared, checking out the sign. Why don't you guys come along with us? Don't forget to click that red subscribe button and the notifications bell to keep up with all of our latest content. Got this nice rub. You can even see he broke off the branch there. That's in between two of our stands. They travel in between the two of them. So they're clearly traveling along this road. I'm tempted to set up a camera here and see what we got. Like I have to every year, I just replaced the burlap on the road tripod. Lots of activity there. We just tested the feeder and there was already a deer coming back to the food. So they must be bedding over there. So from this feeder to another stand over there, there's a big area where we don't ever go. I'm pretty sure that's where they bed down. So they, I think they were bedding right over there. I spooked them up out of their beds there before. They must have heard us test the feeder. They came right to it. Heading down to what we call the hill stand because it sits on a hill. I know we're super creative with our stand names, but the feeder itself is kind of down in a bowl, which is where I'm heading now. It's towards the feeder. I'm gonna set the trail camera up down there. Hopefully don't trip and kill myself on the way. Mike is going to the stand itself. Check and make sure it's in good shape. Feeder number three, stand number three of trail cam setup. Well, I didn't get any hogs last night when I was trying up at the house. Didn't really expect to because there's not a lot of hog sign up there. So tonight, even though it's not deer season yet, and normally I wouldn't come out into the property to a stand if I didn't have to. I don't like disturbing the woods any more than I need to. But this one stand, which is on the very far end of the property, is just torn up with hog sign. So badly that I'm not sure any deer are coming to that stand anyway. And if I can scare them off, maybe get one or two, before deer season gets here, then maybe we'll get deer coming back to that stand. That's kind of a high hope, but I'd still rather get rid of some of these hogs that are out here. And like I said, it's it's way on the far end of the property. It's way away from any other stands. So I don't think I'm really disturbing anything for the upcoming hunting season. And if nothing else, I get to sit and see what's coming to this stand. So we're making our way down to what we call the trouble stand. Lots of deer, lots of actually fairly decent deer considering the drought that Texas had this spring and summer. I don't know. I mean, that's, you never know what you're gonna get when you go out hunting, but I thought for sure I'd see a bunch of hogs, zero hogs, lots of good deer, didn't expect to see any deer. Did have the cows come in late and they chased the deer off. 
That was the weirdest sip. I don't know what to make of that. It is what it is. Tomorrow, I pick up Joe, my last buddy, coming out here to the lease. Thursday, we pick up all the trail cameras. This one, I definitely need to do some trimming. I have almost no shooting lane. Can't even see anything that's at the feeder very well. So I have to do some work there in addition to picking up the trail cameras. And then Friday, we'll just take it easy. And of course, Saturday is opening day. So come along for the adventure. You ready? I'm ready. Woo, looky here. That would be a Western diamond bag. You see a snake, truck in the middle of the road, all four doors open. <laughs> Today we are out picking up our trail cameras and uh, seeing what we have out here. But I can tell you this, I'm at Rat's Nest. I think I've mentioned before that Texas, this part of Texas, had a really bad drought this spring and summer, and we're, we're definitely seeing it in the deer. We're not seeing as many deer. They're much smaller. Antlers are much smaller, so it's going to be a challenging year. This stand here, normally I have at least 2,000 pictures on my trail camera from this stand. Of course, I put it in the same spot every year. This year, I just picked up the SD card from that camera, and I have 137 pictures. So that gives you an idea of how much more challenging it's going to be this year. I haven't looked at any of them, but just the sheer number, it's a little disappointing. So we'll, we'll have to see. I'm not sure what the plan is, who's going to sit here opening day. This is normally where I sit opening day, but I want to do something different this year. So I'm going to do the water trough. But right now I'm going to get up in the blind itself and see what our shot lane looks like. See if there's any trimming we need to do, that type of thing. That's part of what we're doing all day today. But I will keep you updated with what we see at each stand. So come along with us and see what this year's hunting season holds for us. So we're here at the road tripod or just the tripod. It's the only tripod stand on the property back there. Maybe hard to see, maybe a little backlit, but uh, had 468 pictures here, which is actually one of the highest numbers we've ever had at road tripod. So I'm excited to see what road tripod holds. Mike is looking for some blind spots because there's a lot of good ground blind locations here. He's never hunted road tripod before. So be a good opportunity for him to try this stand out and see what he gets with his bow. But lots of sign here, lots of pictures. I'm kind of excited for the potential that Tripod has this year. I am sitting in the water trough sand. This is where I'm going to sit opening morning. This camera had 1300 pictures. So you can tell like there's definitely a lot of activity here. I just quickly glanced through a couple of the pictures and there is a freaking monster buck. The only problem is the only pictures I saw were at 10 and 11 o'clock at night. So and that's how he's gotten to be as big as he is. But I'm still gonna come this day and hopefully I'll see him. But it's looking good at water trough and uh, this is where I'll spend opening morning. We're coming into trouble. That's the name of this stand because it always gives us trouble. Uh, this is the one that's gonna need a lot of trim work. I need like a bush hog back here, but we got loppers and clippers. So we're just gonna have to do the work. That's the way it is, but uh, this is the one with lots of hog sign. I thought for sure I'd see a hog here, but I actually saw quite a few good deer. So we'll see what we got. Gonna get the trail camera, throw some corn in the feeder and trim the heck out of this thing. Well, as I suspected, the trail cameras really didn't show too much out here this year. There is one really nice eight point that's showing up at the trouble stand, 
Although that camera didn't seem to be working very well, so we only got one picture of him. But the field and the water trough both have a really cool six point. And he's only six points, but he's, his rack is really big. He looks to be a mature deer. I love six points. I shot a really old six point in 2019 out here. They are just so unique and so cool to find a six point that's a big six point. And so that's what I'm hoping to get at the water trough on opening day. That's the one I'm going after. I mean, he's that's like the type of deer I look for. So I'm really excited. Hopefully he'll come to the stand opening day and I'll be able to get that six point. But we don't know. There's a lot of things that we're not sure we saw out here. We only have trail cameras out for a little bit. Could be a deer out here that we didn't see on camera, didn't catch on camera. We're getting ready for opening day. We're packing our stuff into our bags, making our lunches, planning on an all day sit for opening day. I am in the water trough stand and the buck we're kind of calling Poser is a six point and he poses for the camera, so we're calling him Poser. That's who I was hoping to get this morning. He, he came out, but he stayed right on the edge of the woods. He never really gave me a good shot. I, I had like maybe 10 seconds to take a shot. It just wasn't, I just wasn't ready. Um, and then he went back into the woods and uh, never came back. Um, there's another one that looks just like him. I'm calling him the imposter. But he doesn't have brow tines. Poser has nice brow tines. The imposter does, but they look really similar, especially at 100 yards out. Something spooked him. He just never looked comfortable. He didn't like run off or wave his white flag. Just slowly left back into the woods and hasn't been back since. Um, it's like 9.20 now, about 8.45, it was like a light switch went off and all the deer left this area. I haven't seen any since then. He was actually here before first legal light also, right out from the stand. Um, but again, like I said, it was before legal light, so I didn't have an option there. Oh crap, I've got a, a turkey. They call Tom. It's opening morning in Texas, 2023. It's uh, been a strange year so far. The trail cam pictures that we've recovered um, show that the drought has probably affected the deer quite a bit. The antler growth is not what we've seen in the past or the numbers. However, it's hunting season. It's 2022 and we're in Texas. Um, that in itself is a blessing. So whatever the good Lord puts in front of us, we're okay with that. Just the the time out here with my, my brother Alan, my cousin Mike, and my best buddy Tim, it's it's priceless. So I'm not targeting any deer this year. Haven't seen anything that really strikes my fancy, so to speak. But I'm just enjoying the time away from from life, from politics, from all the struggles in the world, and I'm just really looking forward to a good weeks of hunt a good week of hunting today this morning it'll be the first time i've hunted the road tripod opening morning excited about that we'll see what happens give it a go no target bucks again this year um we'll just see what the what walks out and see if it strikes our fancy
Mike actually drew his bow back on a buck at trouble this morning. But the buck heard him drawing his bow and took off, so he didn't get to even put his pins on it. I saw the six point that I wanted, but I never had a good shot on him. Um, Joe didn't see much. We're all back on the stands hoping for a better evening set. You're here off early. Why are you here so early for? It's the afternoon set on opening day. Sitting in the rat's nest this afternoon. See much this morning at all. Four to uh, a little button buck, uh, eight point, small eight point. Mike saw a um, couple nice bucks over at the James River. One was a shooter. Um, actually, it was a draw one. It but heard uh, heard the noise and took off before it could release the arrow. Uh, Tim saw. He said several shooters over at Water Trough, and Alan didn't get to hunt this morning. So he'll be he'll be on um, the field stand this afternoon. It's hot, hot this afternoon. It's already 75 degrees. I got a little button buck that just won't go away. He's been out here since I got here at uh, 1:30, and it's 10 to 3 right now. He's just milling around back and forth. I mean, he's looking at me while I'm talking. He's not a care in the world. Or for this cleaning, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the knife that my son JP gave me um, for my birthday several years ago. Well, yesterday kind of ended with a whimper rather than a bang. Didn't really have much come by in the evening. A lot of forkhorns. This morning I'm back in water trough. I was hoping to catch Poser, but he never came by. 
all the deer are gone that were here feeding earlier. Some really nice bucks that if I wasn't waiting for one specific deer, I may have shot one of them. But my buddy Joe got a buck this morning. Really nice eight point. So I'm looking forward to going over and helping him load that up. Heading out from the morning hunt on day two. Gonna go get picked up and go get my buddy Joe and his buck. And then I think he and I will go to the processor and uh, get that deer checked in. Finally doing it on day two. Normally we're doing that on day one, but all good. Ooh, that is a big body deer. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice buck. Man. Oh, hell yeah, man. That's a good buck. <laughs> that's better than anything I've seen. Oh, I like that little crook in his brow time. Joe, that's a nice buck, buddy. Congratulations. I like Very it. nice job, man. Yeah, I like him. He, uh, that's the one from last year, Tim. Is it? It is. I went back and looked at pictures. Yeah. That's him. That's awesome. He's beautiful. When I shot that one last year, the nine point, that's the one that ran and stopped and looked back. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's probably 15. Every bit. And he's heavy. My God, he's big. Yeah, I'm I can tell. Call him 16. Even dressed out, he looks thick as hell. He, uh, he's he got to be as heavy as Mike's or, or more. Yeah. Biggest one... Uh, before, since this one though has been that 125 right <laughs> she has 17 he's mountain yeah he's a mountain oh yeah even a little past 17 yeah he, he's he's he definitely ever bit of 17 ever nickel of it yeah It's day three of our Texas trip. It's amazing how quickly that um, the days just go by. Uh, this morning, Al and Tim are hunting in the field stand. Um, Tim's Tim's trying to find uh, or get a shot on Poser. It's a very unique six point. Uh, Mike is hunting in the rat's nest. Has a um, a blind set up there. I'm back in the James River where I shot the uh, eight point yesterday. And you know, what what my goal is is hopefully Tim will get a shot at Poser, and then I'll have a doe out here in front of me, and I can drop the doe at the same time or shortly after. So we take two animals to the processor instead of just one. But uh, we're out early. Got out in the stands about 5:30 a.m. Sun's not coming up for another hour. Uh, we'll give it a go and see how it goes. Yesterday, it got really hot in the afternoon, like pushing close to 90. And you can see that it really had an effect on the deer. The activity has really slowed down. Yesterday evening, didn't have very many deer coming into the field where I was sitting. Didn't see the buck that I'm targeting. Uh, we're calling Poser, big six point to match my six point from 2019. And then this morning we had even less activity at the stands. Every stand that any of us were sitting at had hardly any activity. I don't know if there's heat. I don't know if uh, acorns were dropping and they were going to alternative food sources. It's too early to be on lockdown. They're just now starting to chase, so I have to assume it's the heat. It is a full moon too. Maybe that had something to do with it, but activity has just really slowed. And you know, when you're chasing after a certain buck, it gets a little challenging and lose a little of that motivation. But I'm going back to the field this afternoon. I didn't see Poser there, even though that's like his home turf. He's there like all the time. Didn't see him there yesterday afternoon. Didn't see him there this morning. Really hoping he's there this afternoon. I don't think I've ever 
hunted for a specific buck this hard. Been lucky and they've been where I expect them to be, when I expect them to be there for the most part. Poser, I've, I've been chasing since opening day and now we're on day three and I still haven't seen him other than for one quick second opening morning. And this heat, you know, this afternoon it's supposed to be close to 90 again. So uh, I just hope that doesn't keep them locked down and away from the food sources and I get a chance at Poser this evening. So let's go see. That's a good shot. I, I don't have it. There's a bush block in my way. I can't even see him. He will come this way. He's bleeding like crazy. <laughs> we got Poser. I got the buck I wanted. Whew. That was that was a tough hunt. He was just not coming around. He was. I wasn't sure we were going to see him again. I thought he bedded down or found acorns. I, I don't know, but I got him. I, I don't know if I, I, I don't think I got the shot. He went out of frame, but I had to take it because he was chasing after a doe. I thought he was going to leave the field, but he was bleeding on his way out into the woods. I'm sure he's down just right over there. Uh, we're just going to let him sit for a little while and then we'll go get some pictures and talk to you about good old poser. Explain to me what you're doing, Mr. Jones. Well, I filled out my harvest log on the back of the license here. Now I've cut out the tag, but I've got to cut out the date that I shot the deer so that I'm fully legal. So today is November 7th. So I cut out November and the number seven. Now I'm gonna to have to attach this to the deer when we go pick them up. That was a good shot, buddy. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm still shaking. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. I really, I had a good feeling about tonight, but I just wasn't sure with the little activity that we had, you know, it's just died down so much. Oh, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. Two sixes that I have from this ranch now. Two really big, old six points. I love it. They're just so unique, so different from what everybody else is chasing. So I'm, I'm really excited. Big hill country buck. Big hill country buck. And 
unique to this property. This property has six points, obviously, for some reason. It's in the genetics. And uh, it's just it just makes this that much more special. Somebody's calling on the radio now. <laughs> Alan loves the radio. <laughs> <laughs> What was the distance? 82 yards. I thought it was closer than that. It sure seemed closer in my scope. <laughs> so there's there's his footprints where he took off. And right there is the first spot of blood I could find. And there's a pretty good splash of it. More. It looks like it might be that bone. Yeah, that might be bone. I might have caught that back shoulder. More blood. There's blood everywhere. Coming out both sides of him. Big splash of blood. More. Oh, that's a big chunk of blood. More on that. Is that cactus? No, that's just cactus. <laughs> All on Joe's shoe. <laughs> you don't have the right boots on for this, Joe. You can see where he was still running. More blood. Not as much as I would have hoped to see. More blood. Blood. Oh yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want to see. More there. There he is right there. There he is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, going over that hill took away a little bit of his uh, oomph. Yeah, he are expired and he broke a branch off on himself. Look at that. You can see where he scraped up the tree and everything. <laughs> Right here. Oh, man, it's a nice six. <laughs> he is awesome. That is a nice six. Man, that's a big old six. Man. <laughs> it is. It's one of the biggest. I have a habit of finding seen. them. Golly. And the body on it was so big, too. Yeah. Yeah. Man, oh, man. Well, it is the last full day in Texas. Uh, afternoon, sit. Got my buck. We got a doe this morning. Uh, hoping to get another doe tonight for my buddy Joe. We'll hunt tomorrow morning and then start cleaning up camp and packing everything up. It was a challenging season. Uh, only two of us got a buck this year, which is highly unusual for Texas. Weren't as many deer as there have been in past years. Weren't as many quality deer, really, is what it is. Because there was, there was still plenty of deer, but they just weren't the quality we've become accustomed to. And I really think that's due to the drought. It is what it is, you can't change mother nature, but at least a couple of us got lucky. So tomorrow we'll start cleaning up camp and head home Saturday morning. Another year in Texas, gone in a flash. All right, we are at the first Bucky's on our way home, and that was the end of our week. Just two bucks and one doe. It's a tough year with the drought and everything, but we still had a great time. Love the hill country of Texas. But now it's time to head home to our next hunting adventure in West Virginia. Be sure to click that like button, leave us a comment, Click subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications bell and we'll see you next time until I see you in the real outdoors.